ओम ज्ञानतिमीरांदनाजनिशलाकया चक्षुन्मील येन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमा ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर इन दिस सेशन will be discussing from the first verse of the 17th chapter of the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam this is a new chapter we are beginning this uh, 17th chapter of the first canto is entitled punishment and reward of kali in the previous chapter it was described how uh, when parikshit was ruling uh, kali purusha was trying to enter his kingdom and how parikshit dealt with kali purusha is being going to be described in this chapter suta vacha tatra go mithunam raja hanyamanam anathavat dandahastam cha vrishalam dadrishe nrupalanchanam the meaning of this verse is suta go swami said after reaching that place maharaj parikshit observed that a lower caste shudra dressed like a king was beating a cow and a bull with a club as if they had no owner so the previous uh, chapter ended with uh, the description that while the while mother earth and the personality of religious principles dharma dharini and dharma were engaged in conversation the saintly king parikshit reached that place and uh, now the description continues what did parikshit observe when he reached that place he saw that uh, this kali purusha hmm, he is dressed like a king but actually he doesn't have the qualification of a king he is not a qualified kshatriya according to the vedic uh, understanding he is actually a unqualified person but he is dressed like a king means he is trying to occupy the post of the ruler or the or the king without qualification and it is also um, very clear that the kshatriyas are meant for protecting the citizens and the domestic animals but here we see this person he is dressed like a king but he is beating a cow and a bull as if they had no owner so shrila prabhupad explains in the purport what does this mean for us who are living in kali yuga it has got lot of significance this description here the principal sign shila prabhupad says in the purport the principal sign of the age of kali is that lower caste shudras what does it mean lower caste shudras men without brahmanical culture and men without spiritual initiation such people will be dressed like administrators or kings and the principal business of such non-kshatriya rulers will be to kill the innocent animals 
especially the cows and the bulls, who shall be unprotected by their masters, the bona fide vicious, the mercantile community. So, Srila Prabhupada clearly explains a often misunderstood uh, terminology. In the Vedic scriptures, in the description of the Varna and Ashrama system of Dharma, it is described that the society should be divided according to occupational duties and according to uh, spiritual uh, development into four Varnas and four Ashramas, four social orders and four spiritual orders. Now, this uh, Varna classification has become completely uh, topsy-turvy in this Kali Yuga because of uh, the misunderstanding that one belongs to a Varna according to birth in a certain family, which is not what is explained in the scriptures. Clearly, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, uh, Chatur Varanyam Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vibhagasha. Guna, the quality, hmm? based on qualifications, based on the qualities possessed by a person. That person should be classified according to the qualities and according to the occupation, according to the work he performs, according to the natural inclination to work in a certain way. A person should actually be classified as a Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. So, very clearly, who are to be uh, classified as Shudras? Those who do not have Brahmanical culture and they do not have spiritual initiation. That means, they are more, they are more or less uh, godless people and they are uh, bereft of the Brahmanical culture. They are uncultured. According to Vedic uh, um, uh, description, they are uncultured. Hmm? So, uncultured, godless people are to be classified as Shudras. Not according to birth, not regardless of which type of family they take birth in, it does not matter. If they are uncultured, if they are godless, then they are to be classified as Shudras. Such people will be dressed like administrators or kings. This is the sign of Kali Yuga. Hmm? Uh, and uh, these uh, administrators who are unqualified, but somehow they have managed to occupy the post of the administrator, they will simply indulge in killing innocent animals, especially the cow and the bull. Hmm? And these cows and bulls will be killed by such unqualified administrators because such cows and bulls which are meant to be protected by the Vaishya class, the mercantile community in the Vedic culture, these animals will be unprotected, they will be unprotected. So, therefore, these administrators can um, uh, freely kill without anybody questioning them, without uh, uh, the animals, innocent animals who give a lot of service to the human society, not getting any protection. They are helpless. They are innocent. They are helpless. So, this is the situation in this age of Kali that we are finding it right now in our present times, exact description given in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, Srila Prabhupada further says, in the Bhagavad Gita, 
in the 18th chapter in the 44th verse it is said that the vaishyas are meant to deal in agriculture cow protection and trade hmm? krishi goraksha vanijyam vaishya karma swabhavajam hmm? by their acquired nature hmm? there are certain uh, class of people in the civilized human society who are meant to deal in three things krishi or agriculture go raksha cow protection go raksha and vanijya trade commerce so uh, the cow protection was specifically entrusted to the vaishyas in the vedic culture now there are no qualified vaishyas so therefore the cows are not getting the protection that they deserve and in this age of kali the degraded vaishyas the mercantile men are engaged in supplying cows to slaughter houses as long as the cow gives milk they keep the cow and take the milk and uh, and uh, do business with milk and milk products and when the cow stops giving milk send it to the slaughterhouse this is their business not that the cow has given so much service and uh, it should be given protection uh, no such uh, consideration at all merciless heartless a cruel people uh, very very mean minded and uh, it is said in the scriptures that the kshatriyas the qualified kshatriyas are meant to protect the citizens of the state whereas the vaishyas are meant to protect the cows and bulls and utilize them to produce grains and milk so both the humans and the cows and bulls require protection because human form of life is very very important for it affords the opportunity for self realization and cows and bulls are especially meant for producing grains and milk and the cow gives lot of service every uh, part of the cow is very very useful even the cow uh, the urine and stool of the cow is very useful for human society hmm? go arka cow urine is called go arka it has got lot of medicinal properties uh, it can be used in so many ways so many a uh, useful ways for human beings and the cow dung is first class manure uh, it is the best uh, fuel dried cow dung cakes and uh, it is the uh, it uh, helps in uh, so many ways so many ways the cow dung can be used it is an it has got antiseptic properties when cow dung is uh, cake dried cake is burnt it uh, drives away mosquitoes that smoke drives away mosquitoes hmm. so like that there are innumerable uh, benefits of cow dung and cow urine such an animal uh, very 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 useful after the cow dies a natural death the horn of the cow the horns of the cow are very useful the uh, the skin of the cow is very useful also uh, so cow is uh, so valuable the cow tail the tail of the cow is also very useful uh, so like this the cow is such a useful animal and most importantly the cow gives us milk which is uh, the most precious uh, food substance for human beings especially for human beings 
So such um, animals should never be killed, should never be killed. Hmm? So that is the Vedic injunction. And it is the greatest sin to kill the cow. Uh, uh, Gohatya is the greatest sin. Uh, and people have to suffer in very horrible ways by uh, the laws of nature imposed on such uh, foolish people, ignorant people, merciless people, cruel people by nature, by God through the material nature, this uh, punishment will be enforced. People have to suffer. So I'll stop here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.